what's up guys, CP Modi here back with another video. So for a very long time, WD has had a massive hard drive lineup. In fact, enough different colors in their lineup that you could probably make a WD rainbow out of it. But the question is, if you are shopping for a brand new hard drive for your laptop, desktop, or gaming PC, which is also do a guess, uh, desktop, I guess, uh, which drive should you buy? So I picked up three of the most common drives that a lot of people do run, so we could test them and see what exactly goes on here. As you can probably tell by the title down there, we're testing WD Black versus Green versus WD Blue. Again, some of the most common drives that most consumers do go ahead and buy. Now, the WD Blue line of drives are more like your vanilla style drives. They're basically just a hard drive, nothing too fancy about them, and they just get the job done. They can be found in a lot of OEM systems and also to a lot of integrated hardware, such as CCTV units and also to external hard drives, like what we found right here in this video, where a lot of hard drives actually from WD and actually a number of other companies companies ship with standard WD Blue drives. Thanks to the fact that they're very cost effective, fairly reliable and overall get the job done, WD Blue is a favourite for a lot of people out there and myself included. WD Green is sort of like the vanilla drives but they do take power saving to the next level, hence the name Green. They're much more power efficient according to WD and overall that's really all they offer. With variable Intelli RPM kind of technology where they can go ahead and vary their speed and how fast they actually spin, the WD Green line is definitely oriented in power saving. Saving. Traditionally, you could find them in a lot of low power devices, however, in today's day and age of SSDs, the WD Green's power efficiency is sort of fading out just a little bit with really power efficient SSDs coming onto the market. And then WD Black's sort of market position is, well, the top of the line. It offers firmware that allows the drive to spin a little bit longer than your traditional blue, greens, and all the other colors out there, which makes it more responsive and less seek time on the actual drive, helps with Windows indexing, and overall spins at a faster speed more constantly, so you can go ahead and get, well, a slightly, in theory, a faster speed drive. But how does this all stack up in the real world and is it even noticeable? So let's jump into our benchmarks and of course our synthetics to take a look at what happened. First off, we'll take a look at some of these game benchmarks right here. And as we can see here, well, we didn't exactly get anything more or really less out of the FPS, mainly because drives don't exactly affect FPS, so we're not really expecting anything here. However, whilst I was playing those games, I also too did not notice any stuttering lag or any excessive load times for a hard drive, whereas if you did switch over to an SSD, you would have probably got a lot better load times, but at the end of the day, between black, blue, and green, the load times and overall gaming experience was basically much of a much. There really wasn't much of a difference there. Jumping into synthetics though, some stuff got really, really interesting. When we did look at our WD Green numbers, we did see slightly lower numbers. That may have just been because, well, WD Green isn't the fastest drives on the market. But when it came to the WD Blue and WD Black, they were definitely trading blows. Where one might be faster in the reads and slower in the writes, the other would be slow in the reads and faster in the writes. So things sort of were balancing out between the two. Despite the fact that the WD Black is slightly faster, it really didn't help much here. And on paper, the WD Black is ever so slightly better, with slightly more cache, slightly faster speed, slightly different firmware. It is supposedly slightly better and kind of shows up in the numbers there. This is also too reflected when we do file transfers, where the WD Blue and also to WD Black were kind of on par with each other, with the WD Green being extremely, extremely close. And Overall, they were roughly within sort of margin of error of each other. And that was reflected through most of the tests that I did. If it was a gaming type of test, all of them would perform about the same. And if it was an actual synthetic type of benchmark, the WD Blue and WD Black would be definitely trading blows. And that's kind of interesting seeing that at the end of the day, the Black is supposed to be much higher end, coming just under the Velociraptor lineup, or used to be Velociraptor lineup, that WD did offer. So it does look like the hard drives that they are offering are kind of getting to be fairly similar here in 2017. So at the end of the day, if you are picking up a drive for for your desktop PC or even laptop or external drive, what should you be considering? Well, the WD Blue is definitely a great option if you want to build a low power system. However, with that being said, most hard drives on the market today are going to be drawing roughly the same amount of power. So the benefit of a WD Green is kind of lowered now than it was back when WD Green was first introduced. WD Blue is more of your vanilla type of drive. It just gets everything done at a decent price point and isn't too half that bad, with WD Black being so your more premium tier of drive. 
life. It does offer a slightly better performance, but at the end of the day, the extra money you're throwing into that could probably step you up to a higher tier WD Blue Drive and get you more storage overall. And that's really what these drives are about, mass storage. If you want max speed, go for an SSD or multiple SSDs in RAID, and that will give you a much better solution. But when it comes for mass storage, the WD Blue is pretty hard to go past. It does all the storage and does it at a decent speed. But nevertheless, guys, let me know what drives you're running in your PC down in that comment section. You can also to find the WD Green, Blue, and also to Black's linked down in that description box that we did check out here today. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.